Okay, so I've just been collecting things um, for probably a couple of months now. I don't even remember everything that's in there because I haven't even taken anything like out of what it was in. Um, so it's been weeks since I've seen some of it, but I've just corralled it all to one area. Um, but I want to actually start using some of it. So I thought I would film this, but there, I have even more stuff like aside from this, things I've already started using or probably more stuff to come. But we'll just go through everything that's here. And I don't, I don't think, um, I don't even know. It might not even all be house stuff, but anyway, we'll go through it together. Okay, I'm just gonna start at the beginning. <laughs> so I'm gonna say most of this is like either vintage or vintage inspired, but some of it probably isn't, but I actually forgot about this. Okay, so I've been, this isn't really necessarily like house things, but I've been trying to collect older um, picture or photo albums. Um, so I saw this one, 75 cents, um, for like old photos. And I also have like a bunch of old cameras, like Polaroid cameras. So it'd be cute to put them in vintage frames. Um, and, oh, I bought this book too. I'm not sure how much it was. Um, I just thought it would be cool. I usually just take the jackets off. Mm, that's nice. I thought it would be, um, a cool book. So, got that. It's not really house stuff. Oh, I forgot about this too. This is like a post-it note dispenser, but it's like an old camera. So I thought it would look really cute on my desk. I just got a new desk too for this house. And that was two dollars okay so this has been on my like um wish list for my kitchen i can't believe i found it and it came with this little cover too but this vintage blender cover but it is a vintage blender this is the i believe this is the exact one that i wanted um, very 1970s. So cool. Um, and sh hopefully it works. I bought this at the thrift store I used to work at for $10. And I'm pretty sure that, um, I mean, at least when I worked there, we tested everything. So I'm pretty sure it probably works. But even if it didn't, I would just use it for like display, I think, because I love it. Okay, I'm gonna try to get through this like quicker than what I'm doing because I feel like it's gonna take a really long time. Okay, this is not vintage either or vintage inspired really, but I just bought this yellow and white striped mat, which I'm not sure where I'm gonna use it, but it says it was $29.99, but it was on sale for $14. So that's kind of why I find rugs sort of expensive for what it is. Um, so. I got that. I do actually really like it. I kind of wish I would have bought more, but oh well. Um, okay. This is like <laughs> quite a pile. All right. These curtains. I've been on the hunt for vintage curtains in thrift stores, but we've actually just came out of a lockdown. So I couldn't really go thrifting up in like leading up to moving. So. I've been looking on eBay and Etsy, but I haven't been finding anything that I really love and they're quite expensive on those sites. So I just bought these curtains for the um, living room. So I'm not even sure if I'm gonna need another panel or not, but these were $21. Um, just kind of neutral, sheer. I, there's the old owner left some blinds too so it's pretty good but I'm gonna I this is one of the things I want to put up today so that I know if I need like a third panel or not um so there's that and then I got this mirror which was new obviously as well but it kind of gives me MCM vibes um so I thought that might be cute in like the entry possibly and that was 
I like I just went in the store and I ended up finding a whole bunch of stuff so also I got this picture frame it's like geometric gold which definitely gave me some MCM vibes and that was $10 I think I'm gonna put a picture of my cat that just passed in there at the same store I also found this which I guess isn't really MCM inspired but I'm gonna spray paint it gold I think I think you can unscrew this wood piece I think I'm gonna spray paint it gold and then maybe instead of putting like a photo in there I might do some um like vintage inspired font or something and write something in there and I might use this in the entry actually because it has these little hooks for like keys so that might be nice and then I know I got another one that's similar, I think. Okay. Oh, and I got like an organizer shelf. This was at Value Village for $2. Um, and I'm not sure what's in there. Oh, I got found a bunch of VHS. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Okay, I got a few VHS movies. I've been looking for this movie forever. I'm so excited I found it. And then I found this really cool movie too. That's just like a like a special about Ben Crosby. But I forgot I found the first season of Quantum Leap. I love that show. Um, another VHS. Okay. I think these might be. So I found these two, but they're actually um, candles and they were $2.99 each, which actually seems kind of expensive. No, I think they were both um, $3 together. Even still, I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is try to paint the white part to make it look, look a little nicer. I don't know if that will work or not, but um, I'm going to try but I thought that was cute because I prefer to finding secondhand, but sometimes you just can't, so. And here, oh, I found this one too, which also at Value Village for $4, which maybe, I don't know. So I always go back and forth about whether things are too expensive or not, but for me, I feel like if I'm looking for something and I find it, I'm, it's like worth it to me to find it secondhand. I don't know if that makes sense, but I think I'm also going to paint the pot part either gold or white. I'm not doing the black, but I was happy to find those secondhand because I've been looking for a while. Um, I found this bowl, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> I don't know. I, I usually don't find stuff like this very often. The gold is like not in the greatest of shape, but I just love it. This like screams MCM to me. And this was $6. I was actually really surprised it was only $6. I expected it to be like at least 10. So I don't even know like where I'm going to put that or use it. I just had to have it because it was so cheap. Although maybe I'll use it on like an entryway table. That might be nice. Um, and then I think these are all just a bunch of colored glass, which I'm going to unwrap and then I'll show you. Okay. I just didn't want the, you know, the paper to be super loud. Um, I'm decorating with colored glass on these bookshelves. And so I've been looking, um, trying to find different colors but different like shapes as well so um i got these two green ones which are kind of similar in shape i have green seems to be the easiest one i can find but i was happy to find this yellow one this one isn't vintage because it actually has a barcode on the bottom but i did really like the uh, texture of it so i'm looking for like different textures and shapes and colors mostly in the like orange green yellow family 
I think I might have a couple red too, but I was excited. So that one was what, $3.99. I think these ones were $2.99, uh, $1.99, $1.99. So that's not bad. Um, I've been having actually a hard time though trying to find, I can usually find a lot of green, but mostly I'm seeing ones that I just already have. So hopefully um, now that we're out of lockdown, I'll be able to go thrifting and find more of what I want. Okay, so I also got this. So this, um, just the like geometricness of it reminds me of MCM. It's not vintage. Um, I actually saw this at the thrift store right when we first got out of lockdown. I think it was like the first day I went thrifting and it was $10. And I thought about it and I didn't get it. And then ever since I've been thinking about it nonstop. So I went a couple weeks later and it was still there. I'm guessing because it was $9.99 and people thought it was too expensive, which I was borderline thinking it was. But after seeing it and not getting it and then thinking about it for a couple of weeks, I was like, oh, I should have got it. It would be perfect for this. And so to me, it was worth the $10 because it's exactly what I wanted. I might actually, it's rose gold, but I might actually spray paint it on like gold instead, but I'm not sure about that yet. And then I got these curtains for my kitchen. If you watched my um, kitchen tour from my apartment, you know that I have these really cool uh, vintage curtains that I found. And I actually have two pairs because I thought when I move, I might have two kitchen windows. Well, that is the case, I have two kitchen windows. Unfortunately, they are too big for the curtains. The curtains would be too short. So I might try to fashion some new curtains out of them. Um, but for right now, I'm just bought these little cafe curtains that are like checkered. So I just got two in ivory. I've literally been buying so much stuff I don't even know like what oh, okay this is just like an organizer which I'm not sure how much that was and also another organizer which was $1.25 like a lazy susan okay the other thing that was in that bag was this like china which I thought was the same as the china I already have so I got it and it was a pretty good price too but I don't think it is the same as the stuff I got. They have it all like taped together. It probably wasn't the best decision. And then I forgot that I had found this as well. Um, but I was really excited and it was only $3, but um, it is like holiday movies, which um, I love Holiday Affair and it happened on Fifth Avenue and now I will be able to watch them on my old TV. I don't know that I've seen Blossoms in the Dust or All Mine to Give, so exciting. Um, oh, it's volume two. Um, but yeah, I love Holiday Affair so much. I watch that every year and it happened on Fifth. Uh, honestly, it happened on Fifth is one of my favorite Christmas movies. Um, I would highly recommend. Okay, I'm just like moving into the... <laughs> oh, okay. I think this might be new stuff or mostly new stuff. So, this I got for my kitchen. Um, this was $12.99. So, I was wanting to actually put a little bulletin board in my kitchen so I could put photos of like my grandma's and my mom and stuff and I have um, like recipe cards with my mom's handwriting that I thought would I wanted to display in the kitchen but I didn't have enough room for the actual board but then I saw these they had a few different shapes and I thought oh that would be perfect so I can just do that okay <laughs> I just like got a little bit emotional there it's it's really like hard sometimes um like, I just lost my mom last year, and yeah. Anyway, um, here is another one of those shelves, which I think I'm also going to spray paint the gold as well, because I, I just, I don't really like the black, but I like the look of it. I guess this isn't new, but I got one of, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not, but I saw it, and I just thought, well... <laughs> 
I'm just gonna get it and then that way if I want to use it I have it uh, but one of those like kind of male things and then you put little key holders so I don't know I was thinking it would probably match my kitchen really well so if I have a spot for it and that probably yeah it was $3.99 so and then uh oh I found a faux cactus this one was new for $14.99 and I think I'm gonna paint the thing like white I think white would look better than the gray Oh, and then I just got a couple of bottles. These were new. I, f I can't use used ones, like old ones, because I find them like a little too gross because you can't really get in and clean to the degree I would need to <laughs> to be able to use it. But they had these at our actual like local dollar store and I just, they had like kind of two different designs, so. I got those. I'm gonna set up a little, um, I almost said faux bar, but I'm gonna actually put alcohol in it, but um, I'm just gonna set up a little like mid-century bar cart possibly. So um, yeah, I just figured I would grab those when I saw them. And then I just got this also at the dollar store. I saw this Buddha and I think I'm gonna spray paint that as well. I think it's meant for like out outdoors. Um, but I liked it, so. Okay, this bag is all glass, so I'm just actually gonna unwrap all that so it's not so loud and show you, um, um yeah, the same thing with that one. Okay, so I forgot about all of this stuff, so it's like Christmas. I got this casserole dish, which I'm obsessed with. Um, I feel like it's not Pyrex, but maybe. Oh, it actually is, but it's like foreign. It's really hard for me to see, but I do see like the J-A-J, -J, so I don't know if that's from like the UK or Australia. Um, in any case, I really liked it a lot. It's the first time I've ever seen that pattern. And I think it'll look really cute in my kitchen, so. Very excited for that. And then I've been trying to find some milk glass for, I think I'm gonna decorate the bathroom with milk glass. So that's $4.99. I wonder how much this was. Oh, $9.99, which that's like typical pricing for that type of stuff at my value village anyway. So um, I've been looking for like different shapes and stuff. So I thought that one was cute. And then I totally forgot about these, but I'm so happy about these. These little egg cups are adorable, and it's from Japan. There's four of them, they're in really good shape. This one has a small little chip out of it, and I don't remember how much they were. Okay, eight dollars, that's not bad for four. Um, I feel like they'd be really expensive on like Etsy or eBay. Okay, I also forgot about these. I got these glasses that I'm obsessed with. There was three of them for $2.99, so a dollar a piece. I don't know, I'm, I have like an obsession with collecting glasses, I think, because I have a lot. <laughs> but I just feel like I just see cute ones all the time that are hard to resist, but I thought these would be very, um, they would match my kitchen really well, so I feel like I had to have them. And I forgot about this because I must have picked this up three or four times and put it back and then picked it up again because I couldn't decide if I wanted it or not. I really liked it, except I didn't really like the sticker on it and it's like damaged. Um, if it wouldn't have been damaged, then maybe I would have liked it more. I don't know. Anyway, then I was like, oh, well, I could just use that side. Then I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I really like it. Cause then on this side, you can see, like they have the, the thing stamped. Anyway, I finally realized that I could just peel the stickers off 
and then it would still be cute because it still has the little like peanut guy and it still says planters and everything on it so um that was seven dollars which i thought was actually a good price for a jar this big i feel like at my bulk store they sell jars like this for like 15 to 20 dollars so ultimately i did decide to go for it but i couldn't actually remember if i put it back or if i bought it because i had picked it up and put it back so many times but that was a happy surprise okay so then we're looking for some cheap-ish lamps um for our basement and i found two of these they were ten dollars a piece which i don't know it's that expensive for a lamp with no shade anyway um we need to get shades for them but uh there's two of these ones so i was like yeah we should definitely get those um and then there was this one which is sort of similar in the fact that it's like also wood this one was only three dollars because it is missing the you know shade thing but you can buy those pretty inexpensive like at the hardware store so i haven't got it yet and i haven't looked for shades yet but i thought that was a pretty like so what's that like 25 dollars for three lamps so now we have all the lighting we need in the basement i thought it was pretty good and hopefully we can we'll be able to thrift some half decent shades for them okay last bag um this oh this is like for knives i think 2.99 this i'm like not 100 percent certain of but this is a um why can't I think of the name of it? A duvet cover. This is a duvet cover that I saw for $10, I believe. And it sort of gave me like an MCM vibe with the pattern on it. It's not vintage though, I don't think. Um, it may even be like homemade. Anyway, the tag labeled it as being a queen, which is what my bet is, um, but, I think it might be a king. When I held it out, it looked really big. So I need to like wash it and everything and see if it is a king or a queen, but I'm, I wanna get a new bed. Well, I need to get a new bed because we sold our bed. Uh, I just wanna get a platform bed, like a mid-century-esque platform bed and like, you know, tuck the covers under. Anyway, I'm thinking that even if it is a king, I'll just get a king duvet, like a thin one, and then try and see if I can do that, if it'll work. Because I'm going to tuck it in anyway, so it won't matter is what I'm saying. Because, um, yeah, it looked really big, but then also, um, I that same day I found two matching pillowcases which was amazing but the pillowcases are actually labeled as were in the king section which they definitely look like king pillowcases because they're definitely big, bigger than the pillowcases that we have but I don't know it just it kind of gives me like that vintage MCM vibe I don't know if anyone else knows what I mean like 1960s I don't know so I was planning on getting new bedding and I thought, oh, this is perfect because um, I'll save a ton of money because it was only $10 and I think the pillowcases are like two or three dollars, three forty-nine, so not too bad. Considering I think the one I was looking at was like $89. So, I mean, but I'm not entirely sure. So I'm gonna try to make it work and see how I like it. If if I don't like it, then I'll just go with what I was originally going to, but if I can save a whole bunch of money, then um, that's great too. And then I think what else is in here is just, I've just been um, looking for curtains, not for like the upstairs, but for the basement. Um, just like neutral curtains, so. Um, these ones are $2.99, I think. I got two panels. Our basement is partially finished and so I'm wanting to use curtains to kind of separate areas and maybe like hide other things. I haven't uh, 
I'll probably actually film the basement and put that in my to like house tour or whatever and then I think I got two of these but actually I think this might be like a shower curtain maybe I don't know the holes remind me more of a shower curtain but maybe it is just a curtain since there's two anyway um I haven't filmed I filmed the rest of the house for the tour which will be up before this video so if you want to go watch that but um, I'm probably am I wasn't gonna include the basement but I may as well film that too it's not actually scary or anything but um, it's just I don't know it's partially finished and I wish it was a little more finished but we're gonna try to make it work for a while before we plan on finishing the basement but it's I'm not sure how it's gonna work I don't know that much about it but there's like there's a huge furnace that's anyway this will all be in that other video so I'm just gonna stop talking about that now but there definitely is some more stuff that I'll probably just put in you know at the end after this